Hello, fellow Elliots. Welcome back to another episode of Elliot Talks on the Couch. Good to see you all again. Missed you. Been a week. Uh, missed you so much. Oh my god. But we're back. Uh, I, I don't know. I woke up today and watched the Washington Wizards lose an embarrassing game to the Philadelphia 76ers without Joel Embiid. Can you imagine a team that looks so promising for the first three games of the season that just loses i could go on and on but the nba has pulled me in i am watching every single game so i thought let's do something cheeky and wait before you think that this video is not for you if you have any interest in graphic design this video will be for you because nba teams social media graphics are very they i think they're interesting and they're interesting maybe we'll learn a thing or two today the way this video is going to work is very simple uh i have created five tiers uh and then i'm going to go through every single nba team in alphabetical order and then i'm going to check out their socials and kind of rank it off that now i'm not gonna be mean okay because i genuinely think i know some of the people who do the graphics for nba teams this isn't like a roast or anything like that the way the tier list kind of works is more based on is this what i would expect yeah i think everyone has a basic idea of what they would expect from an nba team social media account right like it's the wide font the big number scores and all that like there's a lot that you can kind of do but like we're going to be well, i want to see if anyone goes above and beyond those expectations yeah if you'd like to subscribe to the channel please Please do we are truly building momentum on this channel oh my god it's been unreal you should see my graph it's just going up and it's not stopping every video i post so thanks for all your support it's also time for today's featured item of the week today it is trey trey trey's mopping dog rug congratulations trey 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 on the featured item of the week and wow what a cool dog rug just like you. Let me run you through the tiers. So we've got five tiers. I'll go from top to bottom. Our first tier is the Wizards 2015 sweep of the Toronto Raptors. Uh, this is for uh, social media accounts that are like unreal. I only expect like one, two or three teams to get to this tier, right? This is like the big deal. Yeah, because this was a big deal. You should have seen, I was like 16. I've been following for the Wizards for like 10 years now. And it, that was awesome for me. That was the best year of my life. Like, and they weren't even that good. Anyway, I won't talk about the it. The next tier down is the featured item of the week. Uh, this is for like great content. Yeah, it's not like the best of the best, but it's still very good content. And I'm proud of, you know, cause I'm proud of myself. I really like the featured item of the week segment. So I think it's, you gotta be confident. I think it's great content. Next down from that is the Utah Jazz. This is good content. I think the Jazz are always a good team to watch. Always have been. And especially now they're, you know, quite a bit above what I was expecting, but I imagine it will cool down maybe by the time this video comes out. So it's good content. Next down we have Roboto Sands. Uh, this is what you'd expect, right? This is like what it is what it is as it is. Uh, and I think that it's just like, that's a humanist Sans Serif. It's ab absolutely what you'd expect. It's not really a, uh, yeah. You get me. And we do have one tier below this, uh, which is I paid five designers on Fiverr videos. Uh, and this is for designs that I just think are outdated, uh, probably being held back by a creative director or something like that, or a, a franchise that doesn't want to push the boundaries with social media graphics. Uh, much like how I think I paid five designers on Fiverr videos are outdated. And I'm glad no one's been posting them recently because I don't think it's, I don't think it's a good thing. No. Now, I haven't seen 90% of the uh, these teams before, so a lot of this will be my first impression, so bear with me. Sorry if I upset your favorite team, uh, but these they're all good as far as I'm concerned, so uh, I just have preferences. This is my opinion at the end of the day. First up, we have the Atlanta Hawks. Have a look at this design here. This is quite cool. Um, this is just their final score kind of thing. I really like that little triangle going down to the bottom with the different color, almost like a hawk beak, which is pretty sick. Very simple layout, nice and minimal. A really nice choice of font as well. And I like those logos in the squares. I don't think it's anything like super courageous or anything like that, but I think this is pretty solid stuff. I really like that kind of sharp beak motif that they've going, got going on here. I'd say this is a Utah Jazz tier design. Well done, Atlanta. Next up, we have the Boston Celtics. Now I'm liking this. I have to be honest. I'm liking this a lot. A lot of those Instagram designers out there will appreciate that nice little paper grid texture that we've got going on here. Um, also like a really cool black and white kind of style to each of the logos too. Very simple, got a nice little vintage feel. This is quite nice. These little game day posts are great as well, like featuring the players and stuff. A little bit of a green tinge, some soft gradient blur going on in the background there. 
Cool. I'm going to put this at the featured, featured item of the week. That, that's where they're going to land. Next, we have the Brooklyn Nets. Now, I've been sent the Nets a few times already uh, from my design styles video where I brought up uh, this is kind of where the entire video idea came from. The Nets are cool. Have a look at this final score graphic, right? Like this is as simple as it gets, but it works. Yeah, it works. Because I think a lot of them are really like, ah, you know, NBA final score, blah, 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 blah. But like, this is very minimal, very toned down, very classy. It kind of matches their entire artistic direction, I think, as a team, which is like a really cool direction in general. Also check out this Brooklyn Knights little graphic they did. Cheeky. I'm going to put it at the top of featured item of the week. I don't know if it gets to... We'll see. I might shuffle it around a little bit at the end because I haven't seen them all. But I'm going to put the Nets at featured item, featured item of the week for now. Next up is the Charlotte Hornets. What I do like is that they're experimenting a little bit with the kind of honeycomb style as they are Hornets. So it kind of plays into that. Uh, I don't really like the execution as much as I think I could. Uh, but it is cool that at least they're doing that and they're playing into the team. Not a super big fan of the font or anything. Still some good stuff. I'd say this is exactly what I'd expect. We're going to put this at Roboto Sands. The Chicago Bulls. This is reminding me a lot of what we just saw with the Celtics and the Nets even. We've got that kind of like soft gradient stuff going on in the background. We've got some monospace fonts going on here. This is cool. Okay. But it also feels like there's quite a mix. Like there's this one, which is just like a next game poster but it looks completely different to the final score one so i don't know if the graphics are tied together as much as i would expect from a you know a franchise like the chicago bulls but still it's good stuff i'm gonna put this at the utah jazz next up is the cleveland cavaliers okay i'm liking this i'm liking this a lot for those who watch the design styles video you know that i was a big fan of the lakers using a serif font and it looks like the Cavs are doing exactly that as well yeah this is just like really going for it i feel you have to respect the confidence yeah we got some like collage graphics going on and then a really nice italic serif there clean the white background with the maroon and that gold as well works really nice it's a nice flat kind of color palette which looks which makes the photos pop out a lot more the calves welcome to the wizards 2015 sweep of the raptors tier this is great. The Dallas Mavericks. The Mavs are exactly what I would expect the Mavs to be. I mean, I've always thought the, the jerseys of the Mavs themselves and the kind of like the color palette is very standard, I feel. It's kind of got that corporate blue to it. So it makes sense that that would kind of translate a bit through the graphics themselves. But there's some nice stuff. I like the kind of logo outline going on in the top corner, the rounded rectangle, the, the name going on top. It's cool. Like there's definitely some little elements that I think are quite cheeky and fun. Uh, but I'm going to chuck this one right at Roboto Sands as well, I think. The Denver Nuggets. We've got some cool little drop shadowing going on here. I like the colors going on for sure. I really like what they've done with the, the color palette of the Nuggets in general. There is a lot going on. I mean, we've got the map kind of design in the background on some of them. Things kind of going outside the frame a little bit. I'm going to put the Nuggets at Roboto Sands. I think it's uh, very much like the classic kind of NBA social media design. And, and yeah, next up is the Detroit Pistons. I like that blue kind of shining through in each of the designs. I like how depending on the jersey they wear, they change up the graphic. I think that is an essential thing. Makes the job more interesting, at least I can imagine. Big fan of this game day graphic. One, because it's against the Wizards and two, because it kind of is just cool. But yeah, a nice, simple design. The logo, the score, the sponsor. Simple. Gets the job done. Cool stuff. I'm going to give this a Roboto Sands. The Golden State Warriors. I'm sure we got a lot of Warriors fans. A lot of uh, West Coast NBA fans watching, maybe. I have no idea. Cool graphic style though. Real cool graphic style. Big, big fan of this like abstract line kind of cutting through each of the graphics here. We got that wide text, which is a classic NBA social media thing. Uh, I love the cheeky little gold champions badge on every single graphic as well. You know, fair enough. If you own it, you should flaunt it. That abstract swipe is real nice. Really, really cool way of framing things. I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to put this at featured item of the week. Yeah, great content. The Houston Rockets. Oh, cool stuff here. We've got a, a a nice little grid kind of style going on here. Big fan of the collage -y aspects that a lot of teams kind of opt for. I like the, the tech infusion as well. The light, the fuse kind of branding and then matching that through like this power board kind of style with this kind of like motherboard style that we've got going through is very unique and different which i really like a little bit risky a little bit cool i like it let's put this at the utah jazz the indiana pacers just beat the wizards the other day so i, I have a bias no, i'm kidding it's fine going real bold with that gold and blue which i like uh, i think yellow and blue is an underrated 
combo and I think um, this is some pretty cool stuff. The blue is a little bit more cobalt blue than I was expecting for what is a very much like a navy blue kind of color palette. But I like that little subtle gradient, the patterns in the background. Yeah, it's some cool stuff. I'm going to put the paces at Roboto Sand. The Los Angeles Clippers. First thing I notice is the font that they use for the game day graphics and the little give no quarter kind of lo the, the, the slogan. I know they used to have that font. I don't know if they still have it, but they have this like black alternate jersey that had that font and it's real sick. Like I don't think I've ever seen a black letter style font in an NBA jersey. I mean, I probably have, but I can't think of one at the top of the head. So I'm just going to say I haven't. These little compasses going on here. The nautical themes for the Clippers. Cool. I'm going to put these at the... Let's put them at the featured out of the week. Why don't we? Like I've told you all before, I'm a huge fan of the Lakers social media branding. The first serif font that I saw on an NBA team's social media was the Lakers. And it's uh, it's it's great. We got a lot going on. We got these nice little rounded rectangles, bold font mixed with like these subtler sans serif, like full caps with all the stats. And then the, the nice serif font as a heading for a lot of it. Big money. They know what they are. They know who they are as a team. Like it's confident. It's cool. We have to put them in the Wizards 2015 sweep of the Raptors tier. We just have to. The Memphis Grizzlies. A little bit of chrome going on here in this little final graphic. We've got a little bit of a bevel, a little bit of a sparkle. I like that. Real big fan of that chunky font we've got going on here as well, matching that across the entire branding. Also one of the few teams that chooses not to use a border, it seems, and rather goes for like a soft gradient. So extra points for that because it's very easy just to chuck a border on uh, and then put the scores away. But they, they they use some creative ways. Cool stuff, Memphis Grizzlies. I'm going to chuck that in the Utah Jazz tier. The Miami Heat. Is that a little bit of stretched type that I see there on the final score? Okay. Already, I'm a fan. The black and white style is cool as well, especially for a team that is known for like this color red. I like how they just kind of settle that back a bit. And then the red design as well with the yellow. I like the textures going on in the background, the little flames embracing that. The yellow type, I think, is interesting with the bevel. It's a bold choice, which is cool, and a little bit of an outer glow as well. But I think I prefer that black and white style for sure. I'm going to put the Miami Heat at uh, Roboto Sands, I think. No, Utah Jazz. They stretch fine. Big fan of stretch font. The Milwaukee Bucks. Nice, nice, nice. They've got a bunch of different colors that they work with, which I really like. They've got this nice little cream color, the purple, depending on whether they're wearing the purple jerseys or not. The little bar on the left that tells you how far through the game is. Like, that's just cheeky. I like that. Graphics that just feel like the team knows what they're doing. They know they're good, you know, which I think is great. So I'm chucking these guys at featured item of the week. The Minnesota Timberwolves. I like the little grungy texture going on around the Wolves win kind of graphics. Little background textures on the main score overlay as well, which is nice. Works really well with the jerseys. Works really well with the court, the style of the team in general. Yeah, I think this is good stuff. Let's put these guys at the Utah Jazz. The New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans design just feels like a lot more explosive and fun, I feel, than a lot of the other teams, which I can appreciate. A lot of the designs are kind of like on an angle. The, the text is real bold. It repeats itself a lot. We've got a little bit of hand-drawn elements as well. I kind of wish they went for a different font with that bold one, but it's still nice on its own. Like those rough brush strokes, the kind of unique border for each one. I think it stands out a lot amongst the rest of the kind of like more modern looking designs that we've seen. After having seen a lot of the other teams, yeah. I like, I like the different direction. So let's chuck these guys in. Uh, I'll put them in the Utah Jazz. The New York Knicks. Is that a little bit of 3D design? Oh my God, I think it is. Okay, Knicks going with the 3D stuff. That's cool. That's the first time I think we've seen that. That real bold Knicks win kind of banner is real nice. I, I, I think that's great. Definitely works for a win. I don't know what they say for a... I don't know if they use it when they lose. They're embracing that orange as a, as a key part of their branding uh, rather than the blue, which I think is good. That, that bright orange. It's fiery. It's exciting. It's bold. Simple composition too. Uh, nothing too fancy. I definitely think it's a... Uh, above what I was expecting. So I, I, for the 3D alone, I'm, I'm gonna put the 3D. Uh, yeah, we'll put them at featured out of the week. Shout out to the 3D. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah, super simple, super clean going once again for like a nice little side banner style that you've probably noticed a lot of the teams go for, which I think is probably one of the better choices to do. It makes the text super easy to read. Makes the photo look nice and gives it a nice little third style. One third reserved for the score, two thirds reserved for the uh, photo. Great little gradient, little line going through there. I'll put these guys at the Utah Jazz. Next up, we have the Orlando Magic. I like the style of the lower opacity border rather than just like a like a still one. Nice. Soft gradient sometimes. The stat graphics are really cool. The little plus on the name. Very UI design style, and I really like it. And then matching that kind of like super simple type with the uh, the bold tall font for when they win and stuff is, is real sick. This is like top two tiers for me. I can't decide. I think I'm going to put it at the top of featured out in the week. Yeah just nearly the Wizards 2015 sweep of the Raptors. I'd, I'd say it's very close. Next up, we have the Philadelphia 76ers who the Wizards 
lost to literally today. So that's annoying for me. Oh, we've got like the jersey being used as the background for the graphics. Some little collage elements of different things being cut out and slapped on top of each other there. That's cool. I love Philadelphia's jerseys in general. So I think like embracing that, embracing the color scheme. Real good stuff from the Sixers. Big fan. Uh, I'm going to chuck this in... Featured item of the week. The Phoenix Suns. Oh, it looks like the Phoenix Suns used reels instead of uh, still graphics. So sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Embracing the Instagram algorithm push for real. They go for the Serif once again. I don't think it's up there with like the Lakers and the Cavs use of the Serif, but it's still very clean. The subtle grid overlay, I think is a, a great thing to use in general. And there's definitely some of that confidence there, you know, that they're a good team. So yeah, I like that. This is going in a... Uh, Let's put it at featured item of, item of the week. The Portland Trailblazers. The Trailblazers have some of the best branding, I think, for a team in general. The whole Rip City vibes and the font that they use for that. And this is already so different. Like, look at the amount of textures we've got going on here. We've got little halftone patterns as well. They're like each their own little posters and stuff, which I really like. Also changing like the final score graphic depending on the team that they're versing. You know, like a lot of teams I feel like will care about their team, but don't give any kind of like anything new apart from just a change of logo for the other team. So the fact that... The Trailblazers kind of changed their color for the other team is, I, I like that a lot. Trailblazers are winning the conference and they are winning my heart with this design. I'm chucking them in. Wizards 2015 sweep of the Raptors, baby. The Sacramento Kings. Fun fact about the Kings is this is the team that my twin brother goes for. Also fun fact about me is that I have a twin brother. They, now you know. Do the Sacramento Kings even post their final score? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. All I see are reels. Oh my God. Their social media manager going all in on the reels. I respect it. I don't even know where to rank them then. That's the only, that's like the only thing I've been basing this off. They've got a few little graphics and the, the, the few little graphics that they are using are, are real clean. I'm just so shocked. I thought it was like mandatory. I'm going to put the Kings in the Utah Jazz tier for, in terms of the, their, their actual graphics. And I'm mainly just amazed. Next up, we have the San Antonio Spurs. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the Spurs have got a real nice thing going on for them. What font is that that they've used for this? The, like the numbers. Oh my God. Nice little curved serif. Vintage vibes. Slapped a lot of noise on each of the images. Going for the collage style as well, which always seems to work. Spurs are real cool. Look at that starting lineup graphic. Nice. Yeah, I'm putting the Spurs in Wizards 2015 Sweep of the Raptors. That's awesome. And now time for the Toronto Raptors. In shocking news, it appears as though the Raptors also do not post their final scores. I feel like it's just free engagement to post the final scores. Genuinely surprised a lot of these teams, or, or two of these teams so far don't. But the stat graphics are quite nice. Real simple and a nice bold font. Definitely with some nice, real confident design choices. I like that little wave going down the bottom left as well. That's real subtle. Very much matches the branding of the team. Good stuff. Let's check this in the Utah Jazz. And next up, would you believe, is the Utah Jazz. A lot of people, I think, didn't like where the Jazz went with their, their redesign of their jerseys and stuff. They went for this like real bolder yellow, but I actually like it quite a bit. It does look a lot like Sprite Lemons Plus, which is a, I don't know if that's a global drink or not, but we just got it here in Australia. It kind of looks like that. But I really like the jerseys. And I like this scorecard that they've gone. It's animated. Yes. The scorecard is a real subtle little pattern at the top there. The banner is really simple and clean. I love what they've done with the team logos. That yellow is just so beautiful. Yep. Big fan of the jazz. I am going to put them in the top tier. Was it 20 didn't sweep the Raptors? I don't care. Ah. And finally, my team, the Washington Wizards. I like the 3D stars that we've got going on. A little bit of a shadow and glow and that uh, texture in the background of the red banner is nice as well. And I think we have a little bit of speckle and texture of the top of it. Their classics jerseys mean they change the graphics and I really like the classics graphic style that they've got. So I'm going to chuck them in the Utah Jazz tier, I think. And there you have it, everyone. My definitive ranking of NBA teams, social media designs. What do you think? Would you put anything anywhere else? Let me know. You might have noticed I didn't put anything in the bottom tier. That's because I don't think any of them deserve to be in the bottom tier. I think they're all good. Nice stuff from everyone. I'm a nice guy, all right? I love graphic design. So, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to all the graphic designers who work for NBA teams. I wish I had your job. I think it would be one of the cooler design jobs to work in. I'd love to be in the, the, the design group that kind of like creates the brand guideline for the team itself. I think that'd be a lot of fun to work with. And I think there's a lot of potential for... NBA team social media design. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel as well if you want to see me design live or just chat live as well. I do live streams. They're fun. I do Design Chef every Friday, 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time or Thursday nights, American Time. Come along to those. They're a lot of fun. And also check out my print store, Case by Cases and all that other jazz. Thanks for the support on the channel recently. I really do appreciate it. Hope you liked this video, even if you're not into the NBA. <laughs>
looking at design is good inspiration for design, as I say. So yeah, have a good one. And this has been Elliot Talks on the Couch, episode four, I think. <laughs> okay. Bye for now, guys. See you later. Bye. See ya. See ya. See ya.